Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate and we of course have two new recruits to introduce before we head onto our quests. Just before we do, I've had a look at the quests and we only have short missions available. Um, we have one medium, uh, sorry, another short here in the wield, but unfortunately it's a level two mission and we don't have any level twos yet, so that's a bit risky. So what I might do this episode is do two um, different runs. We'll see how that goes exactly, so I'm not quite sure. Um, it depends if we have to introduce new characters in between or whatnot. But anyways, uh, let's first of all get into introducing our characters thank you to both uh, crownless king for writing for our um arsonist and to pen simmons for writing for the mender so very interested to get into both these backstories they both seem great one of them is rather long but let's start off with anton i do not know how to pronounce this last name al alice alice nakar al alice nakar is how i pronounce it alice nakar but I might be wrong about that. I do apologize. But he has a pretty damn good quirk here. Um, unfortunately, he does have gloomy as well. But this guy is our fire-wielding maniac. Our first of a few. We have three or four different fire-based classes. But let's get right into the backstory. This one is uh, done under sort of a rhyme rhyming scheme like Dr. Zeus. So this is going to be interesting. I'll hopefully keep the rhyming scheme as I go. Anton Aleknakar, a name now known. In every city, a legend has grown. A son of privilege, but with all, all to lose, but fire consumed him, and he found his muse. With each ignite, he hears a voice that speaks of visions beyond all choice. A future bright with truth untold, a path to follow before he's old. So he roams the streets, a, a hand his spirit takes flight. Some say he's mad, others say he's wise, but all agree he's a fearsome sight. He's become a myth, an urban legend too. A man who hears the fire and sees what's true. And through some fear, and though some fear him and some do understand, don't understand his story, um, his story lives on in the heart of the land. I absolutely butchered that last one, so I'm going to redo it. He's become a myth, an urban legend too. A man who hears the fire and sees what's true. And though some fear him, and some don't understand his story lives on in the hearts of the land. There you go. Thank you for that one. That was a great story. And yeah, again, I do apologize when I butcher these stories. I am a little bit dyslexic, so it's just unfortunately one of those things. Uh, but now we have the backstory for our mender. Now, this is a very very long backstory with a lot of detail i'm really appreciative of someone that's willing to put in this detail um just keep in mind that i have to read these <laughs> but anyways let's get back let's get into the story of kimber morgan so this is sort of in two parts first of all we have uh, a kind of story that's some dialogue between her and someone else and then a story of her um like her actual person herself so we go they're coming the apothecary ignores the lady looking out the window. They kneel at the bed, placing crushed velenrine root, chamomile leaves, black cohorts, and small drops of lavender together in a mortar, mashing them together into a paste with the pestle, and then mixing them into a small cup of fragrant floral tea, adding a bit of honey to offset the bitterness. Drink, she demands, to the ailing woman who's ob who obeys gladly. The apothecary then takes out a small vial of bluish liquid, Rebecca, take a drop of this with your tea every night before bed. The tea I prepared will help break your insomnia, and the vial contains a solution that should keep the terrace at bay. Kim, you have to leave now. The apothecary Kim looks out the window, seeing the red glow and the burning torches. The shouts uh, and chanting is loud. They've got a good mob going here, she says under her breath. Edith, the bedridden woman, grabs Kim um, Kimber by the hand tightly. Thank you, Edith says with a cough, the deep recessive eyes of an ailing woman, shivering with hope for the first time. Sleep well, Edith. Doctor's orders. Kimber Morgan, a pocketary, and unfortunately a woman, so therefore also a witch. What part of her mixing herbs and cleaning wounds makes her a witch is up to the church to decide. All she knows is she won't let another treatable illness leave a child an orphan. Kimberly grabs her cloak uh, and bag and lights and the calming incense with a small prayer. 
Herping all the talk of witchcraft bestows a little of the power that, she, that, that, that they think she has. She flips up the hood and, uh, given to her by her mentor, kisses her mother's amulet, and flees in the ba um, out the back door, um, held open by Edith's daughter. Kim darts behind a car as the, mobbing, as the mob wield the traditional torches and pitchforks, the standard equipment for practicing mo mobbers. Uh, marches the ha house by house led by Father Frederick Presley, the self-righteous, God-appointed witch hunter. She curses his name to whatever deity is listening and retreats into the forest. Her timing is... Her time is up in Dunhurt. She doesn't get to know if Edith will make a full recovery or not. The recipe is sound and works on other victims of the terror, but Kim wishes um, she could have stayed a week longer to make sure. But when Edward, husband of the latest client, let the father know she was treating the sickness, she really had no choice but to leave. Now where does she go from here? While she was treating Edith, the sick woman talked about a hamlet on the northern coast. Apparently there's some great evil there that has brought together many outcasts who are attempting to cleanse the estate. It may be, there may be one open spot in this damned country that um, won't fear the idea of a woman apothecary. Kimber checks the supplies, making notes of what herbs she should look out for on her travels heading north. Where there is a great evil, there are people that need a doctor. To the hamlet, she goes. Again, just an absolutely brilliantly um, written story there. And I'm really excited to try out this class. Honestly, the Mender is a very, very, very strong class. Mainly because she just has so much utility. She but she has both a direct heal and a group heal. Both are very weak to start with. You can see that the healing amount is actually relatively low. And that is why we're pairing her with Rose. Because she has the ability to buff that healing a little bit. Uh, but then we also have the ability to de-stress and clear horror and cure blight and bleed and potentially clear debuffs. We don't have that ability unlocked yet just because we're very low on funds. Instead, we have a stun here, which could be just as useful. Um, we can also take a look that she has the um, fair play and nauseous, which is a little unfortunate, but she does have um, wanderer and forceful. Wanderer makes a lot of sense for her character. She wandered the forest trying to make her way to the hamlet, so definitely not too bad there and then in terms of what we want to go for instead in terms of what adventure we want to go on i think it's best we go for the snare drum here increasing crit increasing stress healing and increasing stress healing received on a crit for slightly lowered accuracy i think that sounds really good there's certain characters that you can get that have guaranteed crits this seems like it would be absolutely fantastic on those characters. Um, so I'm going to go for that. And as I said, we'll go on the short mission here. We'll see how long it takes us. And we may end up coming out for another mission, depending on how long this one takes. So let's first of all gather what we need. So we are going to the ruins, and this is a short mission. So we're going to take 12 food, two shovels, one of them, one of them, two of these, three of these, two of these... And we'll take 10 torches. There you go. And that should be more than enough. And it leaves us, leaves us with a little bit of excess. By the way, for anyone wondering what these are, we have a mod that adds new potions. These are all various different types of potions that do a lot of effects. Normally, it's usually a positive with a negative. Whereas the um, restorative potion is actually just a base heal. This is basically going to be quite an expensive way it's going to cost us a thousand to take a full stack but quite an expensive way to potentially t go on an expedition without much healing um or without a dedicated healer some of the other ones here are um a lot different like this one here is really cool it gives you a 50 percent virtue chance for one round so basically if you are sure that someone's going to have a stress check you can pop one of these and you will uh, get a really good chance of a virtue. The only thing is, it's really hard to time these correctly. And I do believe it has some downsides as well. But anyways, let's uh, let's make our way out of here um, and see what we can get done. And we'll hop into our first diary entry here. And this is from Thanatos804 for Titania, our um, Vestal that went out on the last mission. For once, she feels um, she may not need the drink. Her mind focused instead on her meditation. She stoked the fire within as she pondered the last trial she endured. The light burned bright on her last trip with the new group. There were three of them. The brute, the armoured, and the thief. Those were the ways that she, she referred to them in her mind. The brute almost fell in combat. The behemoth that was in a drunken stupor as soon as they left the camp. At least she had the common sense to not drink before an expedition. She doubted he would make it long in this cursed estate. 
a mixture of her meditating in order to thank the light and for standing with her, um, which was where she put the where she, where she was put for stress relief, mixed with a bit of um, hypothetical views on the man who can't even hit a rat. <laughs> I like that. That's really good. Uh, we do have a few more diary entries, um, one for the Thrall and another for the Crusade, but we'll get into those sort of a little bit down the line here. The but basically, we have a, a decent idea here of what we're going to do. We're going to use um, Anton here as kind of our second position, because this guy has such ha uh, such large speed and will most likely go first. Uh, it's not all the time, but a lot of the time he's going to go first. He can use the Duelist Advance to activate Repost and... Um, Anton can also use his uh, repost here as well, and then we can use these abilities here. So we'll see how this ends up going. This is a complete 100% of room battle, so we do have to explore everywhere that we um, that we can. Unfortunately, Furious right off the bat, the we fall to a trap. His efficacy on that does happen from time eyes. to time, but there you go. No, um, no scouting, no battle in our first room here. But yeah, the reason I say we'll probably do two uh, shorts, or maybe a short and a medium here, is just because... We really aren't going to get much out of this quest, apart from the, the trinket, of course, that we're going for here. Um, that's no battles so far, so it's going to be all battles the other way, which is potentially better. We do get our first food check. I believe in short missions, there's only ever a chance of a single food check. I'm not 100% sure of that. Um, whereas medium and long can have multiple. Um, I might be wrong about that, but I bring excess food anyways because it's an additional way for us to heal which I think is going to be very, very valuable. I'm hoping that with this group, um, of course, Dismas, we know that he's a hard hitter. Um, but uh, Kim, I'm going to call it Kim for short. Kim is a bit of an unknown quantity, as is Anton. But honestly, Anton really does have um, quite a strong set of skills here. We're going to activate Repost on him straight away. I think that's going to be pretty good. Um, we'll try and get take out the Spider straight away. And that is an amazing shot there, Rose. And then we can activate Repost here as well. And now um, Anton is set up in a really good position here. Now, with some of these characters going in at lower levels, they came in with extra stress. That stun is really, really bad timing there, because I was really hoping to heal up Anton. Um, and unfortunately, the repost misses there as well. And the stun. Wow. Okay, this has been a very unfortunate bit of combat thus far. Um, let's go for a, a regular heal here. Four doesn't seem like a lot right now, but honestly, our characters have such low health at level zero that it, it actually works out pretty well. Dismiss, of course, getting another kill there. Um, and we'll go for another heal here just to get you up to full. Uh, really want to put as much heal as we can. A Dismiss with the repost really helps out. We actually get some blood for the first time here. This is something that's going to be really important when it gets around to going to the Crimson Court. So in the Crimson Court, you can... Um, you can find uh, these bloodsuckers that can give you this curse, and the curse is pretty bad, and we need the blood in order to stop people with the curse from going crazy, essentially. So we have to collect a decent supply of that before we go to the Crimson Court. Unfortunately, we do have a few stress dealers here, but we got a very nice surprise there. And I think in this time, we just go for some stress relief here. Five obviously isn't a lot, but it's not bad. Um, and then... We can take the damage and incinerate here. Unfortunately, we missed, but I believe with incinerate, fire attack, um, I think it only we only suffer six damage if we hit. It does also increase our torch, which is really nice too. Uh, we'll try and finish you off. The least stress we can get, the better. I'm, I'm assuming everyone's going to go for Anton here. Yeah, just because he's at the highest stress, it makes sense for them all to uh, pile on. Yep. I, I knew that was going to happen. It's, it's just the way that this game works. Whatever character is looking the weakest, that's what character is going to get pummeled. We'll go for a kill here. We can take a point blank shot here for a kill. It's very, very nice. Um, and we can try and get a kill here as well. Unfortunately, just a hit, but not bad. That does obviously bleed, but skeletons, we're not going get, to be getting much bleed here. Um... I know it's only one heal, so it's, it's not that much, but I will do that. And then we'll just go for the kill here. Be gone, fiend. I would like to reduce stress here if we can, but it's not a primary Success concern, to be honest. Anton, it it's fine if he ends up going to one light. of the different stress healing areas and, and uh, taking a little rest. Another burn. 
Fairson, go for Anton. I know you're going to do it. Oh, that is... That is astonishingly bit. That is, like, so unbelievably bad. That is so bad. Not only did it give us a surprise, and you get more stress, of course, but it... Oh, that is fantastic, though. It gave us a surprise that really moved everyone into their worst possible positions, especially our Mender here. I don't think she can do any of her abilities from up front here. No, she can't. So this is going to be a little tricky. Of course, Anton here is getting absolutely wailed on. He does get a kill here, rather nice. Okay, we've managed to reposition. We're gonna have to take some time to, um... Take some time to heal up here, because this is really bad. Um, we need to stall this combat for at least a little bit in order to get people back to a decent level of uh, HP. And improvement. This guy is going to get a turn. That's that's pretty obvious, unfortunately. Compassion nice heal there. I'd like to get one more heal out of this, but we'll see. There you go. Okay, now I'm pretty happy to get this guy dead. He didn't die there. That was unfortunate. But we are going to get the stab there. Oh, and the dodge as well. Okay, that makes me feel happy. We've already gathered a good amount of money from this area. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm definitely not happy about Anton's stress. And like I said, we do have the ability to reduce that. But honestly, the healing is far more important at this stage. Probably going to have another battle right here. We didn't. We did get some scouting, though, which is lovely. Um, we do have two battles remaining and one hallway battle. Of course, the hallway battles don't tend to be as bad. Um, I think we want the buff here with you. This is... Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. 30% damage on the character it matters on as well. These spiders can be a bit rigged for crits, so we've got to be careful about them. Um, we'll see how this goes. If we can not take too much damage here, we can maybe start doing some stress healing. The stun resist is really nice here. We'll throw a Molotov at you. Unfortunately, a dodge, which is honestly kind of to be expected. Obviously, we're not clearing any horror while we do this, so it's not hugely important. But it's not bad. Honestly, 35 crit. Wow. That is astonishing how powerful that is. Wow. That is amazing. We have unfortunately taken quite a bit too much resources in with us here, which is a bit of a waste of money. But at the end of the day, it's not that bad. And I feel like any... I'm pretty sure any resources that you bring out with you, you do get to keep. So it's not all that bad. We'll go for a heal there. Try and take you up. That's a, that's a huge amount of damage there. And let's try this out. Yeah, there you go. So we do take some heavy damage ourselves there from doing that. But everyone um, everyone gets debuffed with extra fire damage taken. Um, and also it did a little bit of damage to everyone as well as confirming a kill. And there's another crit. This is just... Dismas is going crazy. The rest of the group here are going to be bowing at his feet. It's, it's kind of insane. Another good heal there. Point blank shots are going to be killing no matter what here. Um, we go for another heal here. Lovely. Luckily, our back line isn't really getting targeted. They're going for the front line that have the ability to get some easy crits. Go for a key here. We've done very well on, on resources so far as well here, which is really nice. Um, and then we've got 70, 90. I'm going to try it with this guy, just because I'd rather reduce his stress than anyone else's. And we did manage that. It's very nice. Oh, unfortunately, he does touch it. Luckily, we still got some stuff out of it there, because when they touch it like that with his um, artistic quirk, it does unfortunately mean that... Uh, this guy will go first. It does unfortunately mean that... Um, oh, horror... That, um, try, what am I trying to say? Oh, yeah, that you can't use, like, the Kyrie you want. You can't use Holy Water, for example. Um, try and get a kill on you before you act. I'm gonna go for... Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. Doesn't matter that we missed, we still get the repost. We will clear... Okay, we don't, I, I, guess, I was gonna clear horror, but we actually don't need to do that. Um, let's just go for a party heal here. I know it's only one. It's really... Not that much at all. 
but when enemies are only doing, doing like two and three damage, it's not that bad. I really like this idea of having kind of a repurse group. It's kind of fun. Unfortunately, acquisition here doesn't repurse, but it doesn't matter because we got it anyways. Grab you. And then throw a Molotov. Unfortunately, this the accuracy of the Molotov seems to be pretty bad. Um, not great. But this guy hopefully should die on this next turn here. Ah, he got Doomsday off. That is not great. Not great at all. There's a crit on a body there. Exactly what we needed. <laughs> oh, and he stresses everyone out with that. And there's that Molotov, finally. Amazing. Got some good stuff there. We'll quickly just grab this, too. But a victory, nonetheless. And that is a lot to take. Really, ideally, we should have snuffed out our torch there. But it's fine. So we're coming back pretty quick there. So we're definitely going to go out on another mission here. Rest. Um, Devils remanded to their we rest. do grab our snare drum, which I'm very happy to have. Um, and quite a lot of money here. Dismas uh, jumps to level 2. And he gets eager to fight, which isn't great. I believe it's a 10% chance to push forward one. Which isn't actually that bad for that character. And also, minus 10 damage on the first round. That's not that bad at all. Um, okay, so let's see what's going on here. We do have um, our first shield breaker here um, as a level zero. But I, honestly, at this point, I don't think I want to take on any level zeros. That's, that's really, really good. That's a very expensive trinket, but that's really, really good. Um, got camping skills available now. Ability to remove perks. Do we have anyone with disease yet? A strict instructor. Don't think so. So let's quickly just remove everyone's trinkets. Um, and then let's have a look in here who we've got. Okay, so. We do have some very good classes here. Bounty Hunter. Honestly, all three of these are amazing classes. We can't take all three, though. I realize I do have the room to, but I don't want to... Um, I don't want to overload us with classes too early. We could take a Salamander here. Salamander is one of our other fire-based classes that's very, very interesting. So that could be kind of interesting. Also starts with Fairweather Fighter and, um, and Skilled Parry, which is pretty good. 10% Party Surprise is pretty bad, though. Um... That's kind of interesting. Veiled here. Extra um, dodge and speed at death's door. Disease resist and slightly weakened repurse, which doesn't matter on this character. But this character is one that plays at death's door, so the adrenaline burst is pretty fitting for this character. Um, one moment. Okay, so at the moment, the only one we currently have a backstory written for is Salamander, which means we could take them out on the next quest. Let's just kind of see where they play from. Seems like they'd play up front, which is pretty good for us. So let's take on the Salamander and we'll get into their backstory in just a moment. And I'm 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 really debating between these two. The Veiled is a really cool character, um, and of course is a modded one with a pretty good um quirk as well. But also the bounty hunter is um is pretty interesting. Although the ignorant and fear of hell beasts really makes me apprehensive to take them. So I think we're gonna take the Veiled here. And we'll get a story for them in the next episode. They can just go to the bottom for now. Um, let's just take a little look at what quests we have available now. So now we have a lot of different ones. We have um, one to the Warrens, Werewolf. Uh, we have the Privateer. We have our first boss here, which is pretty interesting. Um, we have this here, which is pretty interesting too. Plus 20 max HP, minus 1 speed. That's actually really, really good. I might want to try and grab that. Um, maybe we could go for a medium here. Uh, okay, let me let me pause and I'll, I'll get the story ready and I'll um, gather some stuff ready for our next adventure. Right, here we are with Anya, our Salamander. So yet another fire-based class. I'm so glad that we got two of these back-to-back -back so quickly. It's really exciting because uh, these characters are really interesting. And just the fire-based combat is such a cool idea. But let's jump into this backstory. This one is by Friendly Shep. Um, so here we go. There were many names that people called her. 
Living Forge, the Flame Warden, the Great Phoenix, and other silly things like that. Anya never really liked those lofty titles and nicknames people tried to stick onto her. It never felt right. She was in this um, suit, no, this prison she had created for herself due to her own selfish desires for revenge and glory. She didn't want the glory anymore. She didn't want the recognition. All she had left was revenge and nothing would distract her from that. She would not be tempted by ideas that she was greater than she truly was. Grand titles were only a path to folly. Anya knew that well. The only sort of title she deserved was something pathetic, something to remind her of how far she had fallen and how far she would have to rise back up to, where, to be worthy in her own eyes once more. The Salamander. Fantastic story there. Really, really happy with that one. Um, but yeah, we're going to go in. I've built myself a little crew here for our next expedition. I think we're going to go back into the ruins here. I realize we're doing a lot of ruins right now, but um, we can jump into the Coven stuff in future episodes. We do have this town event, All Saints Day. Um, but yeah, this is gr Gather Three Holy Relics, and we are going for this because it's a really good trinket. We are going out with uh, Renald here, of course, our trusty crusader, um, our occultist, our... Arashad, Arashad, sorry. Uh, we're finally going out with um, Viara, who I'm a little scared to go out with, to be honest, because she has very low HP, but basically my idea is that she's going to be protected most of the time by Renault by using this ability here. Um, and then we also have Anya here, who is in the back line because she can start with this grappling claw, which allows her to pull herself all the way to the front and pull a backline enemy to the front as well, which I think is going to be a pretty decent ability for her. Um, and then we can move into using some of her more fire-based abilities that are going to be pretty interesting. I have, the only thing I'm a little worried about is healing, which is why I've unlocked our battle heal for an ult here, just as a little bit of extra, just in case we need it. And the only thing that we've got left to do before we head out again is maybe put some people in for some more stress relief. So Anton, I think it would be a good idea for um, for you to go to the uh, closet and pray. Closet, I always call it closet. The closet to pray. Um, and then stress-wise, everywhere else, the only other person that's looking a little rough is um, Chaos, who is going to go back to the bar as he tends to do and just relieve the last little bit of that stress that he's got on him. We can actually take a look to see if anything happened here. Um... We got 60 stress and is no longer ferocious. Nice. 42 stress recovered there. Uh, recovered 40 stress there. New quirk, enlightened. Will only meditate for stress relief. Okay. Uh, Titania is, um, has gained the ability to only meditate now, which is kind of interesting. Um, not particularly useful for us, but very fitting for her story and her background. And we do obviously have the ability to do some spending before we leave here. I am very, very tempted to spend a little bit of money here. Um, of course, the next sort of big thing that we need to do is level up our guild once more to allow for level three um, upgrades because that's pretty important. We could also try and cut down our costs a little bit here by reducing the um, the cost by 10% on either side, which is probably a good idea in the long run. But I think one thing to do here is to buy both this and this. It's a little early to spend that much on the Nomad Wagon, but honestly, if we use um, if we use our Antiquarian here, we might be able to gather quite a lot of money over the course of these quests and therefore be able to actually afford some of these. And as we can clearly see, some of them would be extremely valuable, extremely valuable. So it's something that I want to invest into early um, and we'll carry on from there. So let's embark onto our next quest here. We're going to be going over into this one, a medium. Uh, let's just check our camping skills here, uh, see if we need to unlock any additional camping. Um, do we have a prevent nighttime ambush? We do. That is going to in increase stress though. We could go and unlock this one. Um... Let's go and have a look how much that is to unlock, actually, before we head out, just because it might be a good idea. Go back up this way. Uh, da -da -da -da. No, how much is that? That is 1,750. I'm going to do that. I think that's pretty worthwhile. There you go. We've got that. Um, let's embark on. It's quite expensive, but it's going to be useful throughout the mission here. Uh, so let's go in with our provisions. So we're going to want about 20 food here, so we'll just sell back a little bit of food. We're going to want at least three shovels. I'm going to go with one of those. I'm going to go with one of those. Two of those. Three of those. 
three of those. Oopsie. And then we'll go with... 14 torches, just in case. Just as a little bit extra. And I think this is a good group. Uh, I am a little bit fearful that Renault and, and that lot are going to get leveled up quite quickly here. It's going to be a little tricky to manage our levels. Um, but, nevertheless, I think we should jump in and embark on another quest. Let me just get our next diary entry prepared here, because... We're getting pretty close to having need the need to read that. Right, there you go. Okay, right. Let's jump in and embark on this quest. Is everyone in the right positions and ready and trinket it up? We don't have a lot of trinkets yet, so I have put the snare drum on Renault here. Obviously, it does lower his accuracy a little bit, but I'm thinking the potential for the crit heals could be massive. Um, so I I'm going to try it anyways. So let's embark here and go into our next diary entry. This one is by... Um, Rockerin for our Thrall, and of course, Thrall being who he is, it's not actually from his perspective. The two young guards stared at the brute, bashing the wooden training dummy, the old plate mail bending under the force. I would ask if he's alright, but I'm not going over, uh, over to him. He seems upset. Well, word is that he did, he did, all he did was get hit, swing wild and nearly die. Not much for the butcher, huh? The other scoffed. Well, we all have bad days, right? Yeah, unless you're renowned for killing. The other looked on. Well, he's still quite strong, so that's worth something, right? Aside from the other. And as the captain says, all that ability doesn't matter if you can't hit your... The loud crack as the dummy hits the dirt in the training ground. The other mercenaries turn, hands on weapons as mass of a giant man strides towards the guards. Um, glower, glowering over them, panting from exhaustion... The, um, they both swallow as he leans down uh, to the mouthier one, looks around to the other mercs, ready to strike, and groans. Through gritted teeth, barely held back anger, he says, Lucky little man, as he turns away to return to the brothel, since he drank most of all the wine when he arrived, and they still had to restock. I love that. I love that, that, that this person wrote a little bit of lore as to why we couldn't enter the bar. Just the fantastic. Just fantastic. So here we're gra gathering the these three relics. So we need at least one space free in our inventory to be able to add that in. Okay, good, good, good. Right, so... Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> Damn, I did not think about that at all. That's really bad. It's okay, we can still move her forward. That's fine. Basically, I've made a bit of a mistake here. Gra grappling Claw is our opening move. And we don't have anything else we can do from the back line. But the problem is, if there's no enemy in spot 4, we can't do anything. Which makes things a lot more difficult. Uh, that is that is a problem I did not expect at all. Um, and we're going to have to really play around that. Let's try and go for a kill here. Unfortunately, didn't get it. Ren for the old gods coming in. That's not so bad. We really need to kill this guy as soon as possible. With him being back there though oh come on this is already going horribly wrong <laughs> oh god this is not going good um you have a very actually no you'd have a too bad of a move resist but that would only move you to the back again so can we get a kill on you by by chance one one two two okay i'm gonna do that just to get the kill give them no quarter Ren for the All Gods coming in again. Yet another dodge. This is why we like buffing our dodge here. If we can keep on buffing it, we're going to. Um, so let, let me just explain a little bit how to, as to how these abilities work. So for one, we um, do this, which is a fire attack, which will increase fire t a damage in the future. And then here we have Steam Vent, which will lower accuracy for everyone. And um, it will lower the damage received from Salamander's Breath. And then here, we have Salamander's Breath, which is going to deal damage to ourself, but it's going to buff the damage of the attack. So we can kind of buff that using this and kind of take it in turns going back and forth between these abilities, which is what I'm going to do here. We unfortunately did get possessed there. Um, we, we resisted it. Nice. Okay. You can get a possessed... Um, negative quirk here which means other enemies start appearing luckily that didn't end up being the case here um so how much damage does this actually do five to nine seven to fourteen so let's give that a go and then we can maybe go for a never stab here this could get a kill 
I did try, unfortunately it didn't get the kill we wanted, but that will, and that's a crit as well, which is a nice bit of stress relief. I have to admit, I'm very worried about this group. We have to make sure any curios we touch, we touch with Viara here. And we've got one of these already, lovely. That's one of them. Nice. It's good to get that stack started already. So this this is maybe not a great idea for our opening move. I've got to be honest, but I'm willing to. I'm willing to. What are you doing? That's a. For one, that's a complete and utter waste of money from Viara here. But god damn it, why'd you do that? You got to never get it. Yeah, this might be a bit of a waste if we don't get people in the back slot. But for the most part, we will, which is as we're seeing here. Dude! This is so bad. This is going really poorly so far. A surprise on. Oh, no, that is a really, really hefty bit of damage there. And we've gained, like, almost nothing from using her so far. Um, now, nah, let's just go for a kill here. Unfortunately, missed out on the kill. But we can do this and it should kill. There you go. This also lowers the accuracy of these enemies by a ton. I think that paired with the buffing, the stacking buff of dodge should mean that most things miss. Unfortunately, this time around, that was not the case. And we're probably going to get stunned here as well. Indeed, we are. Okay. Good, good. The bleed isn't great there, but it's not that bad. Oh, God. No! <laughs> the bleed's gonna put her on death's door. Oh no, it's not. Okay, good. Okay, good. I I need to clear that bleed. Um, I'm gonna force a guard here as well. Let's stun you out. Good, good. It's all a little bit scary, I've gotta be honest. I'm going to go for the steam again, which is low damage, but just debuffing their accuracy is really, really useful. Don't bleed. Thank you. Oh, God. Feeling a little stressed here. I've got to be honest. Everyone's getting a little bit weaker than I'd like. Oh, and you miss as well, Ronald. Why? This is, I have to say, this is going astonishingly bad for like our second fight here. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm not a fan of how this is going right now. Uh, you need healing. Don't attack her again. Thank you for the dodge. This accuracy debuff is just not doing any of what I want it to right now. Right. You take some damage. The blood begins. Okay. 10 HP there. 8 is decent. Oh, I did get the bleed though. Just keep going on that dodge. Hope for the best. Plus nine dodges a lot. There you go. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Another one? Another one? Yes! Okay. Things are actually going our way now. And we get another kill there as well. Lovely. Get some flame on you. And yeah, thank you. More dodge. It only stacks up to a maximum of nine. So we just got to hope that nine's enough. Eight's another good heal there, but the bleed is coming in hot and fast right now. Um, let's heal you up. And then this should do, yeah, a good amount of damage because of the buffed fire damage. There you go. Wealth right. beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I can't believe we got a surprise there. So bad. Right, head back. Luckily, we've got two of our quest items already, which is really, really good because it means that we should hopefully be able to leave pretty soon if we find the next one. But we can stay as long as we want to try and gain more money, which is probably what we'll do. A trap there is lovely. Cool Thank you for that. Spring to life. I'm going to give you a, a little bit of food just to keep you going. Another one of these guys here. The surprise again? Okay. Anya, I think it's your quirk that's absolutely screwing us right now. Because this, this is honestly so, so bad. Like, us getting surprised like this is so bad. Because we have to spend so many turns just moving. 
And it's going to lead to so much damage. So much damage. Four. Come on. Oh, and the bleed as well. I'm getting really stressed out right now. Really stressed out. Thank you for the dodge. Please dodge again. Yes. That's what we need to see. Okay, steam vent here. Eldritch Pole's gonna work. Oh, no, no, we got the dodge. Nice. Okay. The vapors come out. There's that full heal. No bleed this time either. Doing that again. Probably should have just gone for the kill there. Ooh, a crit on us as well. Luckily, the damage there wasn't actually that bad. Possess. Okay, nice. We dodged it. That was really lucky that we dodged that. Get that going again. Dodge again. Oh, no. No bleed, though. No bleed. 12, that's good. And no bleed. Awesome. Right, let's go for the Salamander's Breath this time. Good damage. We do take two self-damage there, but it's, it's honestly not that bad. Moving you to the front. Not terrible. The miss, however, is pretty terrible. Okay, three's fine. Eldritch pull again. As long as you're not stressing, honestly, I don't care. Oh, one off. I should have looked at the damage we could have dealt there. It's okay, we get the finish. Seven heals pretty good, with especially with no um, thingy here. Let's try and go for a stun. Okay, that just kills. I should have looked at the numbers there. That's fine. Okay. This wow. Expedition at least promises success. We do get some scouting here. We got a secret room. Awesome. Um, all of these are regular curios. We have no need to go up this way right now. Let's go this way first. I'll take the street secret room straight away here. It's not always the ideal situation to do, go for, but it's fine. And we get a nice amount of these puzzling things, which is really good. Although I should have taken that with Viara, and I didn't. I, I probably would have gotten a little more out of that had I had done that. It's a little bit stupid of me. That's going to happen a lot, by the way. I'm going to constantly... Constantly forget that. So unfortunately our trap design isn't amazing across the board here, but we did get a successful one there. Right, next battle. Oh god. We have the bat here. Okay, that was a good dodge off the bat there. We can finally use this correctly, which is fantastic. Pull you back pull the bat to the front. I don't know if the bat being at the front actually helps us at all, but still. Wow, that is a good heal that was a little bit overkill. Right, okay, everyone's in the right positions this time. We can probably take you out next turn, Mr. Bat. I, the, the Stress Woman is going to be able to get some good hits on us here, I realize. And the stress that we're taking overall is, is pretty hefty. Don't like that. I can, ooh, don't you dare pull her. Oh, oh my god. Okay, 14's good. We got the bleed on her again, though. Debuff that, that accuracy. Don't like you being there. The, 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 like, repositioning of this all has been just tragic. Like, absolutely tragic. We keep getting repositioned into really, really bad spots. We, we honestly don't have a very movable group is the problem. That is real bad. Luckily, we're keeping it topped off, but... D leave her alone. Wow. Do we have any bandages? We don't. Okay. Um, we're just going to have to keep healing our own. Uh, I feel like I just don't have enough damage output as this group. Anya's good, but at low level, her damage is pretty weedy. Nice. Good kill. Still, it's still annoyed that this this character's chilling. This could be a death door hit here if he goes for her. Good hit. Dodge. Ah, oh, bugger. 
stress is really climbing now. Another miss. That that slight reduction to accuracy has been so bad for uh, Renault this this quest so far. And I don't think he's gained any crits either, so it's not been that worth it, to be honest. At least, at least Viara's keeping healed up. Oh, the dodge. Damn it. Okay, that's good, that's good. We could get a five here. Oh, instead of the dodge, I went for it. It was probably a bad idea. The dodge paid off there, though. Oh, and there's the crit. That should be a huge stress heal. Four isn't as huge as I was hoping, but it's still pretty good. And there's the... the, the thank God, I was going to say that was, that was going to be a stress check if we didn't hit that. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that. So too will resistance. I don't know what to get rid of here. Get rid of that. We'll take that over that just for now. We did get scouting here, which is rather nice. We have... Our quest location is over there. Okay, nice. Right. Let's go down here first. Nice disarm. The way is right. lit. With the her. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Beautiful. Right. Let's carry on. This has been quite something. Um... I'm going to camp here instead. Right, so first of all, let's go for that. This puts us down to a very, very nice zero stress. Right, then what have we got? We've got... Um, speed, dodge, and crit sounds amazing. Um, we've got... Produce a random trinket and minus 50% stress both seem great. And then we've got... Party stress reduction. That's pretty good. Um, so that would leave us with three. So then we could maybe do both of these or we could go with this. I'm going to go with this. And then I'm going to go with this and this. Arsonist only? Okay. Um... Let's rest. Let's just see what that, like, how that affects us here. So, melee attacks. Ranged, ranged, ranged. Okay, we're using all ranged. So, that is a buff to... Oh, wait, no. This isn't our arsonist. This is our salamander. Shit. <laughs> Damn. I got confused then. Right. Back out. Right, you make, make sure you touch that. We are still on quite high stress with her, so I'm a little worried about that. Well Battle before. coming in. No more surprises, please. I realize we've got that extra 10%, but... See, this is why we re reset all of our stress as much as we could. Now, this is where this, this is good. Huge damage. Huge damage and a kill on our next attack. Shackles is pretty bad. We could get a stun here. Oh, it's a move, not a stun. Go for that as if you dodged that. Wow. We gotta go for the stab here. I realize that the dodge is super important, but that's really good too. We'll pull you to the front as well. Get rid of the bodies. Really good for our crusader getting rid of the bodies, to be honest. Something that we need often. Come on, Anya, what can you do for us? Crit heal of four with no bleed. Do not mind it. Let's debuff some accuracy here. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Renault's accuracy is just unfortunately shocking today. We can't be lowering it. At low level, it's just terrible. I think that was a bleed resist there. Yes, it was. Nice. Minus 65% stress on her. So even with the stress she has right now, that shouldn't be too bad. Ah, unfortunately got the bleed there. Nice kill. Buff the party with that dodge again. 
Let's see if it works. Unfortunately, not this time. We do receive the bleed as well. Stumbling scratch. Luckily, we dodged that one. Right, Zealous is going to do four to eight. Honestly, I think we just go for the Zealous because we're not going to get a kill with either attack. That's going to deal... Okay, no, it doesn't matter. This could bleed again, and I'm hoping it doesn't. Okay, it didn't. Good. Beautiful. Was hoping for at least one kill out of that. A really nice ability there. And then just go for the kill. Very nice. More blood if we want to try and take the blood. Trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. We need to... Uh, this is difficult. Deeds are good, but we can get Curio... We can get um, heirlooms at any time. I think, honestly, we leave both of those. But it's empty, unfortunately. Right. Go to our quest location here. This is great. Grab a key. Nice, nice, nice. We do have a shovel, luckily. Never go out without a shovel. Even it's a the bad idea. Stone seems bent on preventing passage. Okay, we got another flawed observer here. Luckily, he's at the front this time, which helps us. Um, minus 10% damage. Minus dodge. No one here has great dodge. Honestly, just heal you up a little bit. By a little bit. I meant a little bit. Wow. Good dodge there. Good dodge there. Right, try and take this back. Yes. Take this guy out straight away. It's fantastic. And we keep buffing up our dodge here. Unfortunately, having killed that first enemy, it does make things a little problematic. That was a, a misplay by me. I didn't really think about the... The implications of the squad of enemies not being th more than three. Of it being, sorry, not being... Lower than four is what I meant there. It just doesn't really work out for us. Uh, we'll pull you. The pull's actually good damage as well. Four damage is not not anything to scoff at. Really don't mind that at all. Oh, so close. We can do the steam though to kill that guy, which is nice. As long as we don't get stunned here. Nice. Steam vent will kill and debuff accuracy on the rest. And do another heal on you. Arashad's been really useful this time around. He's been pretty clutch with his heals. His heals have been pretty much on point. I keep forgetting we've got Flash Powder as well here uh, if we want to use it to debuff more accuracy. But when we've got the Steam Vent, I think it's best to buff the dodge. Oh, unfortunate miss there. You should be dead next turn. That is a quite a big, quite a big hit there. But the stress here is just not going up at all. It's fantastic. We've got such a massive reduction to stress that it's not a problem. And there you go, you get taken out. And there's another huge heal. Unfortunately, we do get the bleed there, but that's not all that bad. And then we'll pull this guy to get rid of the corpses if we can. Just go for that little minor heal there, why not? No point smacking a body right now. Yeah, let's pull you forward, just get rid of the corpses. And we even got a crit there too. Bayonet jab is going to be a bleed. Oh no, it's not. And there you go. Right. The quest is complete. But, considering the, the look of our group, zero stress on these two guys, very low on you, and while not low, easy to counter. That's exactly what I was looking for there. So we're going to go up this way. I'm sorry, but that is not happening. Right. And 
We don't have any medical herbs. Damn it. I'm pretty sure we can't do anything with that unless we have medical herbs. Um, I'm going to backtrack here. I'm not going to go do that battle. I will do these battles here. Oh, bugger. On our backtracks, we got a battle. That can happen sometimes. Okay. We've only got one more hunger check available to us, so we've got to be careful about that. Okay. This is fine. Let's see how much stress we actually take here. Seven. <laughs> yeah, like nothing. As opposed to like 19 as you normally would. I love that attack there. It's it's risky and doesn't always work out for us, but it is a lot of fun when it does work. Impressive. Another crit there. A one kill, not quite two. Wow, a 30 heal. <laughs> she literally has like half that HP total. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. That's like a maximum roll crit heal. I don't know why I did that. She just got rid of one of the bodies. I got rid of both the bodies. That's good. And it debuffed their accuracy as well. The debuff accuracy plus buffing dodge is a really, really cool concept for us. You guys have prot, not dodge. Let's just debuff your damage a little bit. It's only 10%, but why not? You get an attack in. Rather it do a little bit less. No, no, no stun, no stun, no stun, no stun. Ah. Fortunately, Anya's getting stunned a little bit there. Not a problem, though. More damage reduction for you. Another stun coming in here, most likely. Ah, resisted birth, lovely. Nice. And a good dodge there, lovely. We're doing well on that front, honestly, we really are. We don't have any synergies with marks in this group, so marking's pretty pointless. Just go for a stab here. Not a lot of damage because of that prop, but why not? This momentum. Push on to the task Make sure she's selected. End. Yeah, we're gonna go back up this way and do this battle and these two curios. We got another random room battle. That is really unfortunate. I mean, it's it, like it's good for getting more loot, but it's just more potential stress and more potential incidents. Also, this only has one battle remaining left on it, which is kind of scary. Also, we didn't we didn't reorganize our group here, but that kind of worked out. That's so fine. One hit kill on that guy is awesome. Thank you. Pull you forward. I don't know if you can do stuff from the front, but we'll, we'll see. Hopefully the dodge will help prevent that. Ah, unfortunately not. It's quite a lot of stress. You're marked there. That is not great at all. Although, it's good that it's happened on this battle and not the others. That's fine. Six isn't great there, but it'll do. Steam vent here. Kill you, lovely. 67 stress. Not that bad. This has been a pretty good group. Um, apart from that early start where things were just going completely wrong for us, this has been not not too bad. Lovely. Good damage there. Confusion. No damage taken. Lovely. I think if you use two of the steam vents, it completely yeah. There you go. Look, minus a hundred percent damage received. You receive literally no damage. I did not know. I did not know it could be reduced to zero. Probably something we should attempt to do more often. Resisted that bleed, lovely. And just Arashad is a king right now. He just does not have any problems with uh, healing for a good amount. 
We're getting more food here, which is really Remind nice. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Your stress is sitting at what? What's that? Um, Seventy-six is pretty bad. It's not horrendous though. Okay, that's books. I don't care about books. Right. We're gonna do one last bit here with the two battles back to back. And the, uh, the two curios. This could be a bit too much of a risk, I'll be honest. Just because of the fact that we don't have our buffs from, um, from our camping anymore. So it could be a little bit too much of a risk. But I'm willing to give it a go, regardless. We do have the scouting, so we know there's no traps. There's our last hunger check. We do have someone that's eating more than one food per go as well. Who is that? Ah, there you go. Plus 100% food consumed. That's a little annoying means we can't have any more hunger checks, which is risky. Another flawed observer. When he's at the front, though, it's not so bad. I do not like that. Lovely. Oh, three and the bleed literally healed her for nothing. Congratulations. Oh, I didn't get the kill. That's a real big shame. I think I'm just going to go for the kill here. That enemy is so problematic. I want to just get rid of him as soon as I possibly can. And I did just that. So we'll double steam vent and then start using our flames. I think that's the way that we do this now. But you made a redemption with a 12 heal there, lovely. Good dodge on the bayonet jab. And good judge on the quarrel. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes if you say it, you gotta you gotta say it just to hope it happens. Good dodge on the axe. Oh, that's not a dodge at all. That's a crit. It's probably going to stun us. Oh, no, no, no. We're good. I always forget which one stuns and which one doesn't. It's okay, though. That'll heal up real nicely because Arashad is a beast. Arashad for a 20 heal coming in? A 20 heal, Arashad? Wow. I couldn't believe you'd be so generous. That's a 7 heal. Not quite what we we're looking for. So, yeah, we go for one more steam vent and then we just go on with the Salamander's Breath. That's the stunning one, dead weight. And we did get stunned, unfortunately, which kind of throws off my plan. Ooh, a crit of two. <laughs> I mean, it's a crit, so I can't be too displeased because we do get a stress heal out of it. But again, not really what we're looking for here. Thank you. Okay, quarrel. And there's the one. Okay, he, he he's basically used up all of his good heals. Arashad is now like, hey, doesn't matter. I'm just going to do whatever I want. Damn, that dodge is annoying. Please, please, please get a good heal here. Seven's good enough. Puts us back in the, back in the green, as I'd say. And there you go. Lovely. Okay, we got another money stack here. Let's get rid of the shovels. Let's, um... Let's eat the food. Just just because we, we can't survive another hunger check anyway, so why not? Finding the stuff is only the first test. Right, into another battle. This isn't good. This isn't what I expected. Um, <laughs> this isn't what I expected at all. This could go really bad. <laughs> we might have to retreat from combat here. There's a very good chance we have to retreat here. Bugger. Can I pull you? I can. I'm going to try that. That was good. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, fuck. In a single strike. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, fuck me. Arashad. Arashad's on bleed as well. 
This is just up to. Yeah, this is gonna be my bad. More dust, more ashes, more disappointment. Those who covet injury find it in no short supply. Oh god, that is that is so bad. Fucking greed. Overconfidence is a slow Token and insidious blood. killer. Recovered from the encroaching dark. <sighs> Arashad. Take advantage of this faith fueled charity. Oh, Lord. Will not last. <laughs> Arashad. How upsetting. I did not I didn't I didn't even know the collector could show up at this level. That is so unfortunate. Right, you definitely need to get into the penance hall. Um anyone else high on stress that we can take advantage of here? Okay. Let's check our weeklies. New quirk, second wind. That's actually decent. Um, and he gained Stress Eater. Okay. Arashad, I can't believe it. That is very devastating. We do get an apostate here, though, that we do already have a backstory for, so we can go into them next week. Um, let's see who's got the best thingies here. Lurker, Sore Eyes. If HP is above 50, if Torchlight is... Basically, you cannot get crits, which is not great, but I really don't like the idea of Rebellious at all. I suppose what I could do is I could um, grab her and put her straight into the, the hall, but nah, I'd, I'd rather go with her. A world view buttressed by dogmatic and then, desperation. Do we have it? One minute, one minute. Invariably leads to single minded fanaticism. Okay, I just checked. We do have a backstory for the Hellion, so we'll bring on the Hellion as well. We'll get into their backstories in the next episode. But that is our first death, Arashad. And unfortunately, unfortunately, he is one of our main healers as well, which means Titania and Kimber are our two remaining healers, which is a massive, massive issue. There is another Vestal, and I could take her, but I'm not going to do that yet. Um, let's check our Nomad Wagon, if there's anything we want to buy. Extra crit. Extra dodge. This trinket has two times gold value. Doesn't just mean I can sell it for more. Shield breaker only. All those, unfortunately, aren't that very good. Um... Yeah, that, that was really, really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. I I took the extra battle thinking, hey, this'll be fine. This'll be good. Unfortunately, it was not. And our last diary entry of the episode for our Crusader, Renault by Blank Gaming. This is for yesterday's, um, like the, the previous episode's uh, run. Today's mission went according to plan. We scaled all the walking bone, uh, bones and cultists with relative ease, but the um, curiosity got the better of us when we found a giant sewer grate. We went down, and what we did find was giant sewer rats. Compared to the skeletons, there were no pushovers. Titania, our poor healer, must have been sweating bullets trying to keep me and um, Chaos alive. It came to the point where we actually had to retreat. But that was of little importance. We got our job done, and that is that. But I have to say, Titania really left an impression. She seems quite excited to be using powers of the light to aid us. Last I heard, she was in the closet. Cl uh, closet. I'm just going to say closet. <laughs> God. Closeter? Cl closeter? So I won't bother her for now. But for future, she may be a mighty fine ally. Great relationship building there. Thank you all for watching. I knew it was going to happen soon. I just was hoping it wouldn't be this early. The collector is brutal. I really should have just backed off the moment I saw the collector, but I thought, hey, we can get a lot more money out of this if it goes well. 
and yeah, we lost Arashad. Someone very near and dear to our heart. He was he was doing a really good job as well. A really good job. But Unfortunately, he has perished. Hopefully, we can get him back with the From Beyond event. That is a way to revive heroes, but that is pretty rare, so we'll see. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.